Welcome to Datto Stacks for a special PSA grading reveal. Probably the best gem mint ratio we've ever gotten on a PSA return. This is a bulk submission, $19 a card, so some really low numbered cards and some cards that are up for auction right now on eBay on our seller page, Datto Stacks, uh, ending Sunday, December 17th, Sunday night. So go check that out. I know there's a Blake Corum in here that is a really, really nice card and it's already listed. So if you're watching this video before December 17th, Go check it out. If not, there's plenty of other cards here to see. And let's get right into it and start our piles with nines and tens and eights and fives and sixes, right? Sometimes we get a five and a six on here with some of these soccer cards. But we're going to start with Lamin Yamal. I sent in three of his tops now rookie card. And of the three, we've got a 10 right there. Let me put our 10 pile right there. Uh, I got one more Lamin Yamal. And this one came back a nine. I think there's one more hiding in here. We'll find that. So nines and tens. Uh, tops now, so sent this in when Colorado still only had a loss or two, but this is the Tops now uh, Shador Sanders card, and that came back a 10. I haven't checked the print run on that, it's probably pretty high, but I really think that card is cool, let alone just for PC if we want to keep it. Uh, and he's coming back to Colorado, I believe, with the NIL, he's able to come back, and then uh, hopefully Colorado get in that transfer portal, and they got to beef up the line a little bit. They really had a tough time acclimating to the Pac-12, and now they'll be in the Big 12. All right, a couple of Tops Now cards. If you watch the channel, you know, and please like and subscribe and like the channel, please. Uh, we need some subscribers there. Uh, we do a lot of the Tops Now for rookies that are coming out of the Tops Now MLS card. Print run is low, even for the base, and there's a really good odds of getting a parallel. So this is Julian Fernandez. Yeah, there we go. And that is a 10, and that is a red. If you can see, it's numbered 5 out of 10. It's really hard to see. A little bit bright in here, and I apologize. I wore a white shirt, so that's probably not helping anything today as we film the video. Uh, Shador Sanders, um, and I'm sorry, I wanted to say Julian. He's a, he's a young uh, Argentine, I believe, at NYCFC. And then for a card like this, I'm, I'm kind of holding and seeing how he does in MLS, but also will he make a move uh, over to Europe to a team over there? We've seen uh, guys like uh, Castellanos go from NYCFC to Girona. And if you know anything about La Liga this year, Girona is up top of the table for a town the size of, I want to say, 98,000 people. And they're leading La Liga. They just beat Barcelona uh, at the Olympic Stadium in uh, Barcelona as Camp Nou is getting renovated. So, uh, you know, a guy like that makes a move, pops up in Europe. If not, maybe there's a chance he makes, uh, you know, now with MLS growing. You never know. So I think having a out of 10 in a slab is pretty sweet. Uh, Travis Hunter, again, coming back for his third year next year. He can't go pro this year because you got to play three years of college football. And this is an auto we got out of one of the breaks. And we'll be holding that for next season, a 10. Perfect 10 on the Travis Hunter auto. Yeah, that is a nice card. All right, we sent this in hoping that Georgia would make the uh, college football playoff. They lost to Alabama in a, a really tight game in the SEC championship. Let's not get into the drama of that. We're Iowa Hawkeyes here. So, you know, for us, college football is all about fun, punting, playing good defense. Um, teams that score, we don't even know what that's about. So, you know, hey, Georgia, Carson Beck, hopefully comes back for another year because I've got a couple of cards here. But this one was a Fuchsia Mini Diamond. And I think my goal here was to have it graded, be ready for the college football playoff. They were number one in the country. Um, but, you know, this one is up for auction right now. So if anybody's interested in Carson Beck, you can go out, probably get a really good deal. It probably won't go that high now that they're knocked out of the playoffs. All right, my third and final, Lamin Yamal. And that is a 10. And that is one of the young prodigies. He'll be in the 23-24 rookie card sets. So he'll be all over the place. But right now, this was his first uh, rookie card coming out of the Tops Now Champions League. So two 10s. In a nine, sorry, we'll keep our 10 pile there. Then we've got a couple other tops now cards. This one is David Ruiz, a young Miami native playing with Messi, and this is an orange parallel out of five. So, again, I order five of the tops now, print run still gonna be low, and you have really good odds of getting a parallel. So, this is five out of five. I don't know if we'll be able to see that. There it is, five out of five on the orange pile. I really like, I wish they could have done something with the net, but it's a paper card. If it was a foil card, that would be so cool. Maybe they can use that in uh, tops MLS. If they have his rookie card, he wasn't in the paper set. So, actually, that's and that's a call up also. That's another thing. That's not even his rookie card. That's a call up card. So he might not even be until next year's set, or maybe in a an update type set. Oh, Lamine Yamal. I thought I had. Oh, I have three tens. That one. That's right. I'm keeping one for PC. I've got a couple up on eBay already. So we got three tens and nine out of four Lamine Yamals. High print run on that though, because he is Barcelona. Here's a nice one. So Ethan Salas, if everybody's doing Bowman Draft right now, just came out. This is Bowman Chrome. This was the number one uh, Chase pro, uh, prospect for the Padres organization. This is 17-year-old catcher, just turned 18, 
I think already moved up to like double A. So he's on the fast track. This is a purple mojo out of our Bowman Chrome box, uh, and that is a 10. So we'll be holding that Ethan Salas. That's our best season, Ethan Salas. We don't have any autos of him or anything like that. Uh, another tops now. So this, I I said I'm going to submit the David Ruiz base and the orange since I had the orange. We'll give it a shot. And the base came back with a 10. That might be a pop one. I don't know anybody else out there who's submitting David Ruiz cards. So if, if you know anybody's uh, submitting David Ruiz cards, send them my way because <laughs> we're, we're, we're fans together with Inter-Miami. All right, Shador Sanders. I believe this could be a purple shimmer because I didn't want to send I didn't send any base in, but I did send a couple. There we go, a 10. And I also was thinking if he did declare for the NFL draft, I'd have these ready. But if not, we'll just have to hold them uh, for next season and even next year's draft. So I, I really like the prospecting. Uh, if you watch the channel, again, please subscribe. Uh, we do a lot of prospecting, and the Bowman U really hits right where my sweet spot with college football, college basketball, uh, prospecting soccer prospects, prospecting baseball is super fun. But that's really the mainstream Bowman baseball. Okay, so we did chase him. Dante Moore uh, thought he was going to have a big season at UCLA, did not end up playing, got replaced by Garbers, but then he is transferring. And I haven't heard, but there's rumors he might go back to Michigan and go to Michigan State. Uh, he's from Michigan, so the state of Michigan, not Michigan Wolverines, but um, I will have to check where he lands. But this was a uh, break that we got. The spots were not very expensive, but this is an orange um, big kahuna. So numbered out of 25. And that got a 10, and that is pretty special because those are hard to grade. But again, we're going to have to wait and see. You know, the transfer portal, it's crazy right now, the transfer portal. I mean, quarterbacks go, there's quarterbacks in the 21 Bowman U class, 21 22, that are still transferring, have another year of eligibility. You look at uh, Tyler Van Dyke just now, it's going to Wisconsin. And, uh, you know, I hope Slab Stocks enjoys that Wisconsin quarterback there. But we have some Tyler Van Dykes even from last year. Dylan Gabriel going to Oregon. He's in that 21 class. So we've got a bunch of those cards as well. All right, I'll speed it up. I apologize. I'm ranting a little bit on how much I love the prospect. Here's a Ramiro Enrique, another forward, uh, international forward out of, um, I want to say Enrique is at Argentine. Yep, he's an Argentine striker, uh, young, uh, under 22 in MLS for Orlando. And that is a red parallel 4 out of 10. Sorry, I got the window shine on there, but you can see that 4 out of 10 red, perfect 10. I mean, those are awesome. Stacks are looking pretty good, you know. When we first started back, we were watching, um, shout out to Hatcher's Hits. We really like watching Hatcher Hits uh, channel, and he stacks his well. And Hatcher, when I end of this, if you watch this video, I want to know what your thoughts are on our, uh, our stack ratio here. Because I think you and I have had a lot of good and bad luck, particularly with some of the soccer cards that we like to send in. Um, all right, Bucky Irving Auto. This was, hey, Oregon, Washington, Pac-12 champion. Uh, winner could go on to the college football playoff. Washington won, but Bucky Irving had a really good season, and I wanted to grade that auto. Uh, perfect 10 on that auto. Bucky Irving for the Ducks. All right, another Carson Beck. This one is out of 99, and this is a green auto. I think we got this on Slab Stock's release day, and there's a 10. And again, I wanted to grade that. Um, with the potential of the college football playoff, which is now gone. So I'm going to hold this right now and just see kind of how, what he decides to do, because that is a perfect 10 out of 99. Well, here's a good card right here. Blake Corum Gold Lava for Michigan. And this is, uh, these guys are going to play off, and this is active on eBay, closing December 17th, uh, 2023. That's the year. We're almost to 2024. That's a little scary. But there's a 10 on that Blake Corum, and that's already... I want to say there's like four days left and it's already at $255 on auction. So if you're a Michigan fan and you, you want that card, you better act quick. Um, I decided, hey, let's sell that before the playoffs because you never know what's going to happen in the playoffs and uh, uh, kind of take take the uh, the win on that one where we can and hopefully pay for a lot of the grading that we did here with that one card. So we'll see. Uh, this one, again, thought this could be something uh, for the NFL draft upcoming, a Caleb Williams Shimmer. And we got a 10 on that one. He's definitely had a hard year, but, I mean, USC has really struggled. And uh, when he gets to the next level, could go either way. But he's definitely, you know, number one, most likely number one pick. I don't see him drop into number two with Drake May. This one is up for auction again with the playoffs. Uh, a couple of the teams that I knew these were coming back, I used the pictures from the app. So thank you, PSA. I was able to post those um, early, even before I got the cards. And Michael Penix Jr., this is a Fuchsia Mini Diamonds, and Washington's in the playoff. And that is a perfect 10 with the Washington logo. So if you have the card from two years pre uh, previous, he was at Indiana. 
And so we have some of his 2021 first Bowman. You see there's no first logo here, but this is the first year with the Washington logo, which uh, some collectors I think will really like to have his Washington logo as well. So that one again is up on auction. Get there quick if you see this video in time. Uh, here is just a base Julian Fernandez. So again, I like the maybe grade one base and then grade because the pop run still pop count is still low and grade one parallel. And that came back at 10 also. So we've got a nice uh, call up pre rookie card, first rookie card for Julian Fernandez as well. We've got a few left, four cards left here. All right, Kyle McCord. All right, slab stocks. This one was pulled by Aaron and Julian on uh, pre release day, I believe it was. And this was the best card. I've shown this already, so you guys have probably seen this if you're you're with us, but this is a perfect 10 red shimmer auto. Got a PSA 10, and he is transferring to Nebraska, I believe, so the color match will still stick. Unfortunately, Ohio State's going to have to go away. So I think right now I'm not quite sure what I want to do with that card. I, I You know, it was an outside chance Ohio State made the playoffs. Not outside if they would have beat Michigan. Uh, they would have made the playoffs, and so I kept that card just for that reason. Uh, graded it, but with his transfer, I think I got to sit and wait on that just a little bit. Could post it up for a buy now. Somebody may want to get that card. All right, here's a PC card for us. Caleb Johnson, Iowa Hawkeye, gold out of 50. He did not have autos in the set, just refractors, but I wanted to slab up that gold. Had a uh, kind of a very slow year, but he came on very late towards the end, and we'll see how the bowl game goes, and hopefully he sticks around for one more year. You never know with the transfer portal these days, but he is an uh, awesome running back, and if he does transfer somewhere, that, to me, is still a gold Hawkeye card and a PSA 10. All right, we got two cards left. I think they're both Dante, Dante Moore. This one is just a base refractor. Again, hoping that that was going to be a season when I sent it in. There's still some chance. But with the transfer, a PSA 10. And the last one is an auto, I believe. It is a refractor auto out of 499 of Dante Moore. And we've got a 10 of that. So we've got a few cards to hold. Um, I don't know. What do you guys notice about our stacks right here? That is a pretty good PSA ratio. I don't think we could have done... Well, technically, we could have done better. We could have gotten this card to be a 10. Um, but I will take this every time I submit to PSA. We really looked over the cards. Again, we, we got to brush off the cards. No fingerprints. You don't want dings and scratches. Um, you really got to look at the spacing. And, and it can be really hard and a little bit time-consuming. But when it comes back, all 10s like that and 1-9... Uh, it was definitely worth the time that we put in to prep those cards and get those in. So look for us on eBay. Look for us on Instagram. Uh, please like and subscribe the video here and uh, to our channel. And we want to bump that up a little bit and get some more content related to prospecting soccer cards, football cards, baseball cards. So thank you again. Thank you, PSA. Thank you, Slab Stocks. Hatcher's Hits. Let's get these ratios going like this, okay? All right. Bye from Data Stacks.